This is an Artisan News Wrap Rock Edition for Tuesday, May 24th. Former KISS guitarist Vinnie Vincent was arrested on May 22nd for aggravated domestic assault in Tennessee. The Rutherford County Sheriff's Office reports that Vincent allegedly smacked his wife in the face and grabbed her by the hair and dragged her through a pile of broken glass. Vincent's wife Diane drove herself to the police station after the alleged assault and cops returned to the home where they found Vincent and four dead dogs in plastic containers. After further investigation, it was revealed that Vincent kept the carcasses in the plastic bins, mainly marked as graves with tributes to the canines written on them. Vinnie Vincent was released on Sunday night after posting a $10,000 bond. Drummer Josh Fries will not be on the road this summer with his band, A Perfect Circle, for their tour which kicks off June 29th in Portland, Oregon. Instead, Fries will be honoring a previous commitment he made to tour with Weezer. In a posting on his website, Fries says he is still very much the drummer for A Perfect Circle, but he felt strongly about honoring the promise he made to Rivers Cuomo and to Weezer. Pearl Jam fans who were trying to buy pre-sale tickets to the band's 20th anniversary shows on September 3rd and September 4th in Wisconsin have been out of luck the past few days. On Monday, the band posted on its website that the ticket sale was temporarily delayed. As of press time, the kinks were still being worked out, but Pearl Jam says there are plenty of pre-sale tickets still available. Tickets available to the general public go on sale June 4th. On October 21st, PBS will air director Cameron Crowe's documentary on the band titled Pearl Jam 20. The film has more than 1,000 hours of rare and never-before-seen footage, as well as interviews and live performances. No word yet if a theatrical release is planned. Lastly, Judas Priest have announced a tour at a press conference in Los Angeles earlier today. It kicks off October 12th in San Antonio, and there will be a whole slate of releases and re-releases commemorating their last tour. Tour openers will be Thin Lizzy and Black Label Society.